Jack here with thebikedads.com. Here today to give you guys a few tips on how to look for your kid's first pedal bike. Now, whether you're looking used, online, or at a local bike shop, all these tips will help you become a better consumer and hopefully get a better bike for your kid. Because after all, we're here to set the tone for the years to come. So with bike fit, whether it's 14 to 24 inch bikes, you wanna measure your kid's inseam. And how you do that is you have them stand it back against the wall, take a large book, put it between their legs, move it up until it stops and mark that spot on the wall. Then have a look at manufacturer's recommendations about minimum and maximum seat height. Keep in mind, you want to have your child to be about an inch larger than the minimum seat height. Another way to measure is to raise their balance bike seat to the top of their inseam and put them on it to make sure it's correct. Making sure that their feet are flat and their legs are straight. You want to make sure that your kids can put their feet on the ground. Preferably, the balls of their feet, most preferably, would be their whole foot on the ground. This really allows them to have confidence when they're first starting out. If it's their second pedal bike, you might get away with just having their tippy toes on the ground, but really the balls of the feet is where you want to look at. With most of the 14 inch pedal bikes, we'd recommend the minimum and maximum seat heights are around 15 to 20 inches. So keep this in mind. If your child is around 19 inches, you may want to look at a 16 inch pedal bike. The next thing you want to look at is bike weight. Now most manufacturers don't post this on their site. We have definitely gone out of our way to make sure that all the bikes on our sites have bike weight because we really believe it's crucial. It's bikes shouldn't be more than half their weight. 30% is a good ballpark to go for, but it shouldn't be more than 50% of their weight. Keep in mind that the average three to four year old is anywhere from 28 to 36 pounds and the bikes we're recommending are all from 11 to 16 pounds at a local department store i weighed six bikes keep in mind they did have training wheels and coaster brakes which we don't recommend but all of them were a lot heavier than my three-year-old so keep that in mind when you're searching new or used or online and don't be afraid to ask the bike shop or the online retailer to actually weigh the bike for you The next thing you want to look at is making sure the bike has a freewheel or no coaster brake and it has hand brakes, whether one or two quality V brakes or disc brakes to stop your child. Kids specific levers nowadays are incredible and some of them even come color coded so the kids know not to grab too much front brake and if they don't a little bit of tape goes a long way. We're big fans of no coaster brakes because it allows the kids to back pedal, which is very common when they're first learning how to pedal. And it really helps them on bumpy terrain because they can modulate their brakes and it's not just on or off when they're on the trail. They can be quite dangerous. So really be careful with them. Other than laying down sweet skids, we don't see any pros with a coaster brake. Make sure whatever bike you're choosing has the ability to have a free wheel installed or the parts are readily available because it's quite tricky to find, especially in the times we're in now. Training wheels not only add weight, but get kids in really bad habits. They'll help your kid lean to one side and learn how to pedal a bike. But the most important thing in cycling is actually the balance. So please make sure that you start your kids on balance bikes whether 12 inch, 14 inch, even 16 inch balance bikes nowadays. And you can take the pedals off a 14 and 16 inch bike and just have your kids really get used to coasting along without pedals because balance is the most important thing in pedaling. And then when you're going to take off the training wheel, it's a big dilemma. I know it's going to be easier on the forefront to put training wheels on, but really fight that temptation if you're worried that your child can't make the pedal rotations, take a big block and stick it underneath the bottom bracket of the bike or put the bike on a trainer and get them to pedal forward. 
Keep in mind, kids are going to pedal forward and pedal backwards. It's all part of the learning process. Just be there, be patient. It's a great journey and exciting times. Thanks for watching our video. We hope it helped you guys out there become a little more informed consumers out there shopping for a newer used bike. Whether it's 14 inch, 16 inch, all these little tips and tricks will all be relevant. Don't forget to visit us on our website at www.thebikedads.com. We have tons of tips and tricks and lots of uh, recommendations for products to help you develop your kids into lifelong cyclists. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the trails.